welcome to another video from NAK Fishing. This is part two to today's open match. Uh, part one, I'll put a link in the description below if you've not already checked that out. And that is how to actually fish your first open match down here at Partridge Lakes with just a few guiders and pointers to what you have to do uh, to make it a bit easier for you if you want to book on here on a match and you're a bit unsure of how to do it. So, as I said, this is part two. This is going to be actual match footage of me fishing today's open match. And it's Tuesday today. It's the beginning of May. It's a nice warm day. We've got a bit of cloud cover as well. I've just been down to the cafe to pick up a few refreshments. We've got about 10, just over 10 minutes till we're all in. So I've been down, got a few refreshments before we start and I'm going to head back up to my peg now. If you haven't seen part one, I've drawn peg 141 on Corvy 6. I've not done a lot of fishing on Corvy 6, but I'm liking the look of the peg. There's plenty of features to fish to and there's been a lot of fish topping in my peg. So I'm hoping to have a good day today. I'm going to be fishing on 4 mil pellets. I've got some 2 mil feeder pellets. I've also brought some baked beans and kidney beans. Now I know that might sound a bit strange, but this time of year, the carp are feeding up ready for spawning in the next couple of weeks. So they want to get as much protein as they can. So they're going to be eating a lot of high protein baits like worms, casters, uh, meat, things like that. So I thought, well, why not try beans? Because, you know, I don't know whether anyone's tried them on here before, but I just thought to myself, for a high protein bait, I don't think anyone has tried them, so it's going to go one way or the other. Uh, either I'm not going to catch on them, or I might catch a few on them. But like I said, I've got some four mil pellets as a backup anyway. Uh, I've got some ground bait as well. So I'm going to head back down to my peg now uh, and then bring you some footage of my match. Rushes across there, some pallet to my left, some right, a few bull rushes a year as well. So let's get set up. <laughs> of a match. <clears throat> had a bit of a mixed start. I had uh, I got a fish on when I was shipping across uh, just after the horn went for a while. Uh, but that got off and then I've had um, <clears throat> bumped a few fish over the other side. I mean, I've just had a decent fish on them, but they might got off. So I'm not having the best of days at the moment. They're uh, just fishing on four mil expanders at the moment. Just to this far reed bed. Seem to be a lot of fish around here. Again, a lot of, a lot of line bites. But then I came a bit further up in the water and I wasn't getting any bite, so it was a strange one. It's just plenty of activity going on. So it's swirled everywhere, bubbles. Just can't seem to find that right spot where they're feeding. I've had two small carp, probably about six inches long, really tiny. That's about it, I've had plenty of bites, missed them. Like I said, bumps a few fish, I've tried the margin. Nothing's happening there, so I've just baited it up for later. Drop those pellets in. And then reset my float.
just started getting a few fish down the trap now on four mil pellets expanded. Just keep feeding a few micros. Um, feed a few, a few micros every time. And I think I've just started getting settled feeding. a bit too late in the match to do anything really. I'm not going to get anywhere but I get enough few fish in this last hour. I'd be happy with that. I've tried my margins and there's just nothing coming into those margins at all. Which is unusual. But at least I'm getting bites out here with a lot of... Oh, I missed it a lot of bubbles and sort of feeding on bottom which is where I'm fishing in a funny day today it's like five carp get off five decent carp get off and I've had a few smaller carp nice bream just had a couple of nice F1s then this last half hour See if we can finish a session up with a few more fish. Just bubbles everywhere, it's like a jacuzzi in my float at the moment. Oh, miss that one. There's a couple of people catching down the track now. Seems that's where we're going. If you do have any questions about match fishing or anything, or if you're a bit unsure, about fishing all from matches if you just drop me a comment below and I'll help you whenever I can. I'm gonna check my pellet because I think that last bite might have took it off. Yeah I think there's only half a pellet on there. Yeah. So I'm not getting a bite. Full pellet on a bit more feed important to keep this feed going in to keep them there, keep them interested. Sorry if I'm talking about low as well, I just don't want to disturb the other anglers by talking really loud. Just going a bit quiet again now. Another the bite for a few minutes. Cast. Try to float back a little bit. There we go. Nice. Not to fail up with actually. A little baby.
Right guys, so that's it from today's match. Uh, I'm not going to bother waning because I've only had about £20 at last I was saved my blushes really. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, give us a like, comment down below and feel free to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.